Uh, Charles Kim with Tap into South Brunswick and Cranberry. We're here with uh, Governor Howard Dean and former DNC chair. Yes. First off, on the local level, what brings you here to South Brunswick, New Jersey, and why is the legislative race in the, in the 16th so important to the um, Democratic Party? I think Phil Murphy, my good friend for many years, is going to win. Uh, and it'd be really great if he had a legislature that was fresh and willing to work and willing to, uh, to take on the toughest uh, problems there are. Uh, and I think Roy uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Laurie and, and Mr. Zick Zwicker are great candidates and great, uh, is great legislators, and I hope they get reelected for, for the sake of New Jersey and for Phil Murphy's sake. Well, they bring you in here, that's kind of almost like a top gun for the Democratic Party. I mean, we've had Cory Booker mm -hmm. come out for um, Assemblyman Zwicker before, but you're kind of a level even above that because of your being the former DNC chair. And I just wonder, is, is this a, a race that the Democrats are really honing in on? We really want to win this one. Um, again, Phil and I go way back. I'd do most anything he asked me to. He's a terrific guy. I think he'd be a great governor because he's honest. Uh, and he's straightforward, and when there's a problem, he'll tell you there's a problem and, and treat people like adults, which is nice. And on to something on the national level, which when I found out you were coming today, I was like chomping at the bit. It's like, I have to ask you this. Sure. Uh, DNC. Yeah. Being dragged into court over the last primary battle with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. The leadership has been under fire for some of the things they did with emails and all that. As a former DNC chair, what are your thoughts on that, and, and would something like this have happened under your watch? Well, um, it was a little different under my watch because it's always easier to be the DNC chair uh, when you don't have an incumbent president. Uh, when we ha we've had President Obama for eight years, and when that happens, the DNC becomes the re-elect vehicle for the president. Uh, when I was running it, I didn't owe anybody in Washington anything. Uh, this DNC owns the, owes the president a great deal. So it's a, it's a totally different job, the job I had. I did what I wanted. I didn't have to listen to anybody inside the Beltway, and I didn't, because uh, I wanted to reconstruct the party nationally. And that's what's going to have to happen again, and they know it. It's just a hard job the, to do. There are a lot of progressives, even, online, right. yep. that are extraordinarily critical mm -hmm. of Tony Perez and, and what's going on with the DNC, and they feel like the party really, with Nancy Pelosi and, and the leadership, that they're not really putting out a message and these are the progressives saying and not yeah, the look, right. Uh, first of all, um, I, I agree with a lot of that, uh, although I think Nancy was a fantastic speaker and I hope she'll be speaker again. We need to focus the DNC and the Democratic Party outside the Beltway. There's no question about that. Um, and furthermore, I do think we need to put the Hillary-Bernie fight behind us. We, we, this, this country is in very serious trouble. The people we care about are in very serious trouble. This is not going to be won inside the Beltway by the institutions of the Democratic Party. This is going to be won outside the Beltway. It's, th this race matters a lot. Phil Murphy uh, matters a lot because ha the way Virginia and New Jersey go in 2017 is going to have a lot to do with what happens in 2018 uh, and in 2020. Well, so, it's important for the Democrats to get back some state houses and some absolutely. state legislatures. That, yeah, that's why well, another reason I'm here is this is a chance to turn uh, a, a Republican governorship into a Democratic governorship and, and frankly have much better governance because when you're interested in closing bridges and running for president, you tend not to be so pay much attention to governing.